Hi everyone. Now that we know how to make a basic recipe, we'll dive into some more details, specifically the fields at the bottom of our recipe. Each one has a description that is displayed when you hover over the information symbol. We'll go over them a bit more in this video. As you can see, we already have a recipe. It's a fairly big one for cookies. We have our butter, sugar, flour, salt, etc. Making large batches is typical for a food company, but if you make cookies, you probably make hundreds at a time and then put them in packages of, say, 10 cookies per package. And since your batch is big, that's probably how you also think of your recipe. We try to make it easy to create labels based on these big recipe batches. If we look at our label without modifying these fields, we'll have a pretty unrealistic looking label. Each serving is thousands of calories, and obviously not what we intended. So we'll go back and modify those fields to get the right label. First, we'll start out with recipe yield. This is automatically calculated based on your ingredients. You can and probably should change it. Always weigh your product at the end of the cooking process, as it can change weight by losing water, dripping marinade, etc. We'll leave it as is for now, uh, but again, you really should weigh it, weigh your product after the cooking process. Packages yielded is simply the number of packages that are produced in this one recipe batch. Let's say that our recipe makes 20 cookies, which will go into two packages. So instead of the default of one, we'll enter two for packages yielded. Suggested serving size is what is typically consumed in one sitting. For our cookies, perhaps this is one or two cookies. We'll use one cookie. Lastly, we have the number of servings per package. Remember, this is not the total servings, but the servings per package. So for us, this would be 10 servings for each package, making a total of 20 servings or 20 cookies for the whole recipe. And that's it. We can also add a recipe name, which isn't, doesn't actually affect the nutrition fact label, but if you have multiple recipes, it may be useful to keep track of everything. We'll call this facts or us cookie, and then that's it. If we look at the label with these settings, we see it's much more reasonable. Serving size is uh, one cookie, we have 10 cookies per container, and each serving is about 200 calories. That's a bit more like it. If you're still interested in learning more, check out our frequently asked questions, watch the other videos, or email us at info at factsr.us.